This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy III for the NES. So, last time we were getting treasure on the first floor of the Silks Tower here. I just got a few... Two or three of them left to pick up, I think. Yeah... He got to... He got to go first, so he gets to summon right away. Okay, that sucks. Guess at least I have plenty of, um, thoughts. That didn't do much at all. Might as well just have him attack, I guess. Okay, there we go. Yeah, those two over there. Just the two? Kinda looked like it, but I couldn't tell if they were any farther down. Yeah, last time I got into a battle with three of these guys, and they really kind of kicked my ass. Thankfully, Ark isn't damaged by their flame as much, so he survived it. The other three went down. Mostly because of those guys, I feel like I'd probably better heal up. Yeah, just two treasures. Do I have enough inventory space? I suppose it also depends on if it's another item I already have, because if it is, then I don't need any more space for it. Another barrier. Another white scent. I'm fine with running into these guys if we can take them out before they get a chance to summon. Alright, what's in here? Eh, yeah, so it doesn't look like there's a like door in front of me there, but it did stop me. I am the door to the Forbidden Land, Eureka, where the forbidden weapons are sealed. An invisible wall blocks the path. So I guess that means this is where we use the key. And that will get that out of my inventory as well. Alright, now you can move forward. And I guess it warps you when you go in front of the... Looks like a mirror there. Can we just leave that way? Okay, yeah. If you step on that, it'll take you right back. But I want to go in here. Alright. Forbidden Land of Eureka. There is going to be a lot of treasure in here. Because like it said, the forbidden weapons or whatever are sealed here. Got 
the slip near. Okay, they hit pretty hard. Well, that one wasn't as bad. Let's see how much experience they give me. Thousand each. Well, it's about the same. It's what the other enemies were given. Got two treasures over here, and two more on the other side. Bomb arm and a God's Rage. I think you can just go all the way around in this room. There's a staircase to the next level. A buy, I guess is what these guys are called. They don't seem too bad, but that's probably deceptive. So far, so good. And they were a thousand each for experience, too. See how that split goes here? Okay, Luna should be able to finish the other one. Yeah. North Wind and an Elixir. Well, well Elixir is the best thing out of that, probably. Yeah, also, you could probably guess, but I think this is going to be a fairly long dungeon. Like, basically going into the basement of the tower, kind of? Or I guess, I don't know. It seemed like it warped us, so it could have warped us to anywhere, I guess. Could be another dimension, or some kind of sealed magical area. the second floor. Okay, we got a couple of rooms here. I think I'm gonna go to the left side and get everything over here first.
That was weak. At least compared to what he has been doing. Try this way. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Perfect. Good enough for now. And there is a treasure there. But first, let's get this one. A bomb right arm, I guess is what that is. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a secret wall you need to go through here, because that's enclosed in walls all around it. I think you can walk through part of this, yep. Yeah. Ice 2. I guess by this point in the game I would expect these guys to be using Ice 3 if they're going to use an Ice spell. Guess I shouldn't complain about that, but... Take him out in one shot. Okay, this might work out after all. Okay, well I was hoping Ark would finish this one. Okay, now he did. Just took him a few seconds longer. I think this is one of the treasures that actually, like some of these forbidden weapons and armor, they actually are protected or guarded by enemies, and I think this is going to be one of them, so I'd better heal up. Okay, it's a ribbon. Those are usually pretty good. I guess since it's in the towards the end of the game, it must be too. But there's an enemy. It's a ninja. She's a fire three. Well, not great. Well, it's more than that, so maybe this defense must just be really high, I guess. Let's use a fire three again. Hopefully he just doesn't have that much HP. Like he's not considered a boss, I don't think, because it's just a regular battle playing music. And he's not really hurting us too bad, so I'm fine with taking a few extra rounds.
I have quite a few spells for this level, so I think I'll go ahead and try a haste. Unless we finish it off before she uses it. It looks like the Petrify did stick on that one. And he did get a big hit off on us, so yeah. Probably don't want to prolong things anymore. There we go. Could have just done haste right away. Alright, who is gonna get the ribbon? I feel like I should probably give it to her. Because then there's, um, less of a chance that she'll get taken out, since she has the healing spells. Now, is it going to be really good on defense, or is it one of those things where it does status protection, I wonder? We had 55 defense before. And it goes up to 59. Well, it's better at least. And yeah, the Scholar Helmet, it's nothing special. Yeah, I was gonna wait, but I might as well. Is a cure two on Luna? And there is still stuff on the right hand side there, but um, yeah, this place has two staircases leading down, so we actually want to take this left hand one first, I think, because I think it just leads to another treasure on the next floor, but then it's a dead end. And yeah, we're not going to get all the way through here today. Hopefully I'll make it far enough that we can finish it up next time. I think that seems reasonable. Yeah... I haven't really been using these items very much, so... Oh, that's right, Toad was a white magic spell in this one. Oh, let's use two Maiden Kisses then. I was hoping my... Spellcasters would go first. Alright, so Luna will get to attack at least. In regular form. Enough for now. Alright, basement, third floor, and yeah, it's just this treasure here. That other treasure will have to be accessed from the other side. Pretty sure. Alright, just one left. I hope they don't make a, ta a habit of turning us into frogs. But 
I suppose I should have gone back to another item shop where I could have bought more of those, but I didn't. Shuriken. I did find one of those way back early on. Still don't think we have anybody that can throw, though. fighting these guys a lot here. I guess they're not the hardest ones, so it's probably one of the better encounters I can have out of the ones I've had so far. What's in this room? Alright, got three more treasures. North Wind. that front guy's worse, worse, so, yeah. Try and get him out of the way first. Alright, that should do it. God's Rage and a Phoenix Down. Made it quite a ways without another attack. But yeah, they get to attack first. Actually, let's try this. Because it seems like Repia and Angus, when both of them get to attack, um, they combine them to petrify. So they might be able to take that front guy out on their own. Nope, not that time. That should do it. Yeah. Thought maybe I could make it without another battle. Yeah, technically, I don't know if you have to go through this part, um, the Forbidden Land of Eureka. There's an elixir. So, like, maybe you can just go up the tower, but yeah, I think, like I mentioned before, it'd be a lot tougher without the equipment and stuff you get down here. Ah, dang it. Guess if they're gonna toad somebody, I'd rather have it be her.
As long as they don't kill her. Like that almost did. Okay, at least he blocked it. Oh, can't use magic. Thought maybe she still could. Probably use the toad spell at least. I guess that's probably the only one you can use. Come to think of it, that's not that uncommon in these games. Let's just try to finish this guy off and I'll take care of it out of battle. There we go. What level of spell is it? Okay. Yeah, it's level 2, so I have plenty of those, actually. And I haven't decided if I'm going to... We'll be using high potions after I run out of her MP, or if I'm gonna use an elixir right away. Probably use up some high potions first. Another treasure. Another shuriken. Here's some different guys. A Hauka? Okay, I don't like those multi attack spells, but at least it's not doing that much to us. I was kind of eating up on it. Ingus's HP. They knock it off. Okay. I think I'd rather not run into too many of those guys. Almost 13,000 gil. Another treasure, and that's it for this floor. Yeah. Gonna get old pretty fast. Guess overall that one probably wasn't quite as bad. There weren't as many of them either, though. Another Phoenix down. Might come in handy. Basement, fourth floor. Alright. Um... Yeah, I don't know if we're about halfway through, maybe. 
So yeah, hopefully I can finish this place up next time, but this seems like a pretty good place to go ahead and call it for today. So we'll pick up here next time and try to finish off the Forbidden Land of Eureka and get all the goodies hidden here. Probably have to fight a few more bosses, or else, well, maybe not bosses, but the guardians of the treasures. But anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.